hi i'm dominique vibes and welcome to my channel where it's mostly about travel today i'm going to be giving you a tour of my hostel in wrocław poland all right let's check it out Got the key. This building is so cool. So down that way is the courtyard. Lovely stained glass. This right here is the entrance to the hostel. And this is another cool part.
this area has so much to offer it's about maybe a 10 minute walk from the center of Wrocław the market area and there's tons of restaurants and things just in this area just down the street they have this art and at night time it comes to life but this is what it looks like during the day as I said it's very close by, so many restaurants. You just walk outside the hostel and there's restaurants to the left and right. The hostel even has its own restaurant. Great breakfast. I'm sure their dinner is great as well. There's a pizza place just on the corner of the street. It's also by this lovely park with a moat. I'll take you by there in just a moment. Just down the street, if you continue this way, take a right. There's this other place with neon lights. And at nighttime, this little square area comes to life with neon lights all on the walls. And I believe there's a bar that's right there as well. It may also be a restaurant, not sure. And that is like, I mean, a less than five minute walk from the hostel to check out the neon lights so if you head in that direction you're going towards the center and if you head in that direction you're going towards that direction you're going towards the neon lights all right let me take you through this park is currently 9:38 a.m on a Sunday, I have my third Angloville session today. We'll be meeting very, very shortly to catch the bus. Yesterday, I had the Angloville city tour and it was right in the heart of Wrocław. We met at the opera house and then we were taken all around uh, i can't wait till you guys get to see the video of that the wrocław tour so yesterday did the city tour and then even after did some more exploring with other anglo villers there's about hmm, seven of us or so who just did the last program, who are continuing on to the next one. So it's cool that, you know, we already know each other. And so we did more exploring after the tour, went to this cool multimedia fountain show. It was an extravaganza that was lovely. And I got back pretty late um, so that's why I'm taking you around this morning because I got to show you around the area okay I know I did a little bit of walking but I wanted to take you to this bridge Okay, now let me take you through the park. <laughs> so that way, you head that way just a little bit and left. It's the neon lights. And actually, I have a little bit of time, so I'm going to take you there during the day so you can see it. <laughs> this is a Jacques 
the solid little <clears throat> convenient type store. So at night time, this whole area comes to life. Tables, chairs, people. These lights are lit up here, here, and even these lights over here. So this is definitely a cool area to check out at night time. Maybe stop by for a drink. All right, let me <clears throat> let me take you back to the park. important to be at the Angloville meeting spot uh, a half hour early because you just want to make sure you give yourself enough time so you're not rushing because it can get a little stressful when you're rushing. For the last session, I tried to be on time. But I was having some issues with my Uber drivers. They just kept reconnecting. And it took me a moment before I could actually get connected with the driver. And so I made it there exactly the time we were supposed to be leaving. So it's really good to prepare in advance. So this is the park and it's literally right next to the hostel.
there's this hotel garden. Also really pretty. In the 1930s, discussions of Eucumenus Circle in the Sancta took place. Since 1966, Wrocław dwellers have been cultivating Eucumenus, Eucumenus tradition within the borough of mutual respect. Isn't that lovely? All right, let's continue. Again, that lovely garden area. surprise over here can you see the gnome he's just chilling I guess there is roughly 800 up to or more than 800 gnomes all around Wroclaw This Peruvian restaurant is really good. I just had dinner there last night. I had the Lomo Saltado. Ooh, it was really juicy. And then if you go back this way, it's the courtyard. leads right to the hostel restaurant where you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner. And if you go out those doors, it's also inside where the hostel is. That's, I will take you through the front door. So there's that, where we just were, and the park's just behind that. Right here is the lovely hostel restaurant. Thank you for joining me on today's tour of the hostel and a little bit of the area around this part of town. If you liked anything in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you stayed here before, let me know if you like it. I love the inside of it. I only had one night to stay here. The bed was comfy. The chill out lounge area is really cool i really enjoy the vibes of this hostel peace love and good vibes y'all see you on my next adventure